So we begin our announcements this morning with an announcement from our senior warden. We are one week away from what we call Gratitude Sunday when we m indicate our financial pledge to St. Barnabas. And our senior warden, Jeff Bell, has some words for us about that. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jim. Well, good morning. It's uh, very nice to be with you this morning. Isn't the music just beautiful today? And I'll let you in on a little secret. It's about to get even better. <laughs> For those of you who I don't know, my name is Jeff Bell, and one of my responsibilities as senior warden is to keep you informed on the business of the church. If you are new to St. Barnabas, part of our culture is to talk openly about finances and to keep you informed on major topics affecting your church. My objective this morning is to update you on where we expect to finish the year in terms of income and expenses and to help you understand how your contributions are used. So if you can pull out this little chart that's in your bulletin, it's really hard to miss. I'd like to refer to that. You will see that we are blessed with a total income of about $2.4 million. Just let that sink in for a moment. This speaks to the incredible generosity of this parish and the commitment that we have collectively made to support the mission. This income comes from a number of sources, but the largest share comes from the pledge campaign that is currently underway. While we welcome contributions of any kind at any time, the pledge process is vital because these dollars provide a more predictable income that enables us to plan effectively for the year ahead. Again, thank you for your generosity and support of your church. You entrust the leadership of the church to invest this money into programs and ministries that enable us to deliver on our primary mission of making disciples in an environment where all are welcome. The ministry-based expense budget on your handout shows seven major areas of ministry that are critical components of our mission. I'd like to highlight what we are doing in just a couple of key areas youth and children's faith formation, as well as pastoral care. Under the leadership of Sarah Peterson and Kate Fimbris, we have a thriving environment for children and youth to grow in their relationship with God. We are currently serving 120 children, youth, and their families with over 18,000 hours of programming per year. That's an average of 160 hours of programming available to each child per year. And that doesn't include special events such as the mission trip and the Chapel Rock Camp. To our knowledge, we are the only Episcopal Church in Arizona with a full-time youth minister and a full-time children's minister. And they are supported by over 140 volunteers throughout the year, committing over 5,000 hours of their time to assist with this important ministry. This is simply a remarkable level of discipleship to our children, youth, and their families. This is all made possible by your generosity. Next, I'd like to talk about pastoral care. We have a core value that no one should suffer alone. And we support this value through the lay pastoral care ministry called Community of Hope. Under the leadership of Reverend Elizabeth, we have a team of 35 commissioned lay chaplains. These lay chaplains made 600 pastoral visits in the past year. That's almost 
12 visits per week throughout the entire year. My friends, we could not possibly provide this level of individual pastoral support without these dedicated disciples and the financial support that we are able to provide this program. We have just begun training 12 new lay chaplains that we expect to commission in 2020. Now, on a very personal level, this team recently supported me and my friend as he battled cancer. And they also support my homebound father-in-law every week with communion and fellowship. Thank you to all the leaders and volunteers in the community of Hope. You are truly making a difference in the lives of so many people. Now, I chose these two examples to talk about this morning because they illustrate our growth initiative. One focuses on growing families, and the other focuses on preparing our members to be the lay chaplains who do real ministry one-on-one -on -one with those in need. As you review this budget, consider other ministries that touch your life. It may be the Contemplative Life Program, or the Mental Health Task Force, or it may be Altar Guild, or perhaps serving as an usher, or it may be serving one of the 12 mission partners that we have here at St. Barnabas. This is really powerful stuff for us. And we are blessed to have the clergy, the staff, volunteers, and a commitment from this parish to fulfill our mission of making disciples. Now, the theme of our pledge campaign this year is disciples who love and serve. Through this, we are being asked to respond to a generous God and sustain our thriving church. I would like to invite you to join Pam and me in this call to support our ministry-based budget for the coming year so that we may continue these good works. Thank you, and may God bring his many blessings upon each of you. Thank you, Jeff. Good message.